Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. As you might know, this is my homemade milling machine. Although it cuts aluminium fine, I think there is a lot to be improved as I wanted to cut steel with ease. After some consideration I decided to build a all new milling machine, using the knowledge I have after building this one. There are some things that I will do different this time. I will be using a standard ISO 30 taper to make the machine compatible with existing tooling and to make my life a bit easier. Besides that I bought a relatively cheap XY table on Amazon. Of course I could build a milling table myself, but there are some good reasons to buying one for me. To begin with, this milling table is fully cast iron and uses dovetails for the linear action which makes it much more rigid than a homemade table would be. This table only cost me 150 euros, which to be honest is cheaper than the time and materials needed for making one. I already gathered some stuff for the new mill, some steel for the z-axis dovetails, adjustable feet that dampen vibrations and some quality conical bearings for the spindle. Talking about the spindle, I have made good progress in designing it. The drawings are almost finished at this point. Here is a little sneak peek. Today I am going to tear down this milling table to sort of rebuild it, making sure that everything is alright and giving it a paint job. Although this table is new, there is a lot to be desired. It just looks a bit filthy. Well, this is it for today. There are some problems that I encountered while disassembling this milling table. 
The net for the y-axis was not fastened properly, so there was a lot of movement on the lead screw. I will probably use some thread locker on some of the screws when assembling the table. There appear to be some bad spots in the castings itself. I don't think it will hurt any performance and I can't complain regarding the price tag. I will remove or sand down the green paint and apply the grey paint I use for my other machines as well. Besides that, the ways of the table can do with some stoning or lapping. As they are not ground, instead the surface has a milled finish. I think this table is perfectly usable, although it is a bit smaller than the one on my homemade milling machine, I probably don't need a big table anyway. I will keep you updated on the design process of this machine, so make sure to subscribe. We are closing in on 1000 subscribers, which I am very thankful for that. Have a great day and until next time.